this video is going to shock some people. Now a while back we had uh, fixed our broken motor mount and made it a solid mount if you catch my drift. In doing so it eliminated the engine from flopping around like it has been. Now I'm sure it's been flopping around for a long time and I just never noticed it because I never ha had the hood open while the car was in gear. And it wouldn't flop around in neutral you know, or park when you're just revving it but when it was in gear it would. And, uh, well, I believe that was the cause of my sticking full throttle, uh, issue. Let me explain that. Now, when my factory throttle linkage had finally, you know, given up on us, I had actually replaced it. I made a video, actually, probably still on the channel, way back, of making a new throttle cable, just a solid bar throttle cable. But there was an issue. It would stick wide open throttle, and I could never figure out why. I made sure it cleared everything. I just could not figure out why the thing would stick full throttle. But my zip tie trick didn't. So for the past couple years, I've just been using a zip tie, and it's worked great. But I think the fact that the engine was flopping around on us when it would flop it would stick the wide open throttle and that was the issue hindsight you know so i think that means i can finally make a solid connection throttle you know bar without it sticking wide open throttle. well we're going to try that we're, we're going to make an actual throttle we're getting rid of the zip ties so that's that's the shocking part and we're going to actually make a throttle shaft i guess you'd call it it's not really a cable, it's you know, solid. All right, let's go see what we're up to. So this is what we're gonna be using. It's just, you know, a brass bar. It's soft enough for me to manipulate and bend and, you know, whatever. But it's strong enough to where it'll work as a throttle cable, shaft, what bar, what, whatever, we, whatever we're calling this. So let's bend this thing all up and, uh, well, make her work. Now we gotta work on the other end, but we got way too much here, so let's get rid of some of this. Okay, don't need that part. Now we need to measure where we need to make our other bend. Alright, so approximately right there we need her. Alright, let's go do that. Okay, I will bend the rest of this up when it's on the car. Alright, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. That's going to fit in there just like that. And this has to come up and get pushed in there. And then we'll fold that. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, uh solid and right, now we gotta just give it a shot